Okay, so we are gonna work on a page nine in this video. So again, make sure the first thing you do, up in that top left corner, put your nine. Remember that's on the back of page eight, which has our stuff about atomic number and mass. For this page, you're gonna need this definition, molecule. It's in your unit two envelope on the page that looks like this. It should be the only one left, molecule. And then you're gonna need this piece of paper that says molecules at the top. One of those squares, it was originally on this one. Actually, it should still be on this one. It should still be whole. We need this one up here in this corner. So pause the video and go find your definition uh, sheet, your vocab sheet for molecule, and this square for molecules. Okie dokie. So once you have found that, um, don't forget to grab your um, picture sheet. And then we are also going to need um, your definition for uh, chemical bond. So that's also on one of those vocab sheets, but it's going to be on our brand new one. The last one, chemical bond, that first one at the top. So make sure you have all three of these items cut out and ready to go. So pause it if you need to go get those. And you're going to need the picture. Um, this picture down here that says molecule at the top and then chemical bonds it's this one that says chemical bonds so you want to pause your video and get those cut out now that would be a great time to do it and we are going to get started when you get back with the word molecule so you can set the other two things to the side okay so our first word is a molecule if you've already looked in my dictionary this faux pot super amazing, one of a kind science fiction. Then you already know the definition. Okay, my definition is two, so it's a long one, so don't write too big. Two, it's like the number two, or more atoms that are joined together. You're like, Miss Obot, that wasn't that long. <laughs> There's the second part. A molecule is the smallest particle of a compound that has the same properties. So that means it has the same like stuff, the same things that we can see, smell, taste, feel, touch. Those are the same thing properties as the original compound. See, I told you it was long. So if you need to pause the video here and get that down, now would be the time to do that. And we're gonna move on to the two questions. So our first question says, when two or more atoms share electrons and bond, they form a, what's the word? Molecule. Okay, now we're here, we're circling all of the molecules. So it has to be two or more atoms, H with no number. Is that two or more? No, I'll cross it out. O2, that means two atoms of oxygen. Yes, that is a molecule. NaCl, so it's one sodium and one chlorine. Yes, that's a molecule. It's two atoms. N2, so it's two atoms of nitrogen. Yes. H2O, that's three atoms, two of hydrogen, one of oxygen. Yes. Sulfur by itself. No. Okay, so you're gonna need this picture. Get that glued on. So we're still working on page nine. So make sure you get that guy glued in right there. And you're gonna need your highlighter for this one, molecules. Ooh, where are my highlighters? Did I throw them away? Hope not. Okay. We'll use this marker. So molecules. So I want you to highlight this big part right here because this is the most important part. Molecules are combinations of atoms. So any combination of atoms, 
the molecule has to have more than one atom. So here, if you look over here, uh, atoms hanging out by themselves. So like these are like just atoms. Let's get a different color too. Atoms. But these are molecules. If they have two of them together, And they can be the same atom or they can be different atoms. Like in water, we've got a hydrogen atom. So see one proton, one electron sharing onto here with our oxygen, which has eight protons and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. Hydrogen's just borrowing it. But no, we have three different atoms in that molecule. So once you get that highlighted, you can color code your protons and your neutrons, or your protons and your electrons, or you can also just color code it by the atom. You're going to get that glued in underneath this guy right here. And we're going to work on our definition of chemical bonds. So make sure you have this definition and that picture right there. Okay. So chemical bond. Again, you can always find my definitions ahead of time on uh, my super amazing one of a kind science dictionary. My pictures are a little too big. Okay, now let's work on chemical bond. Zoom in. Oh, this one's not quite as long. Okay, so our definition for chemical bond. The Forces that hold atoms together. These may be, there's three different types, ionic, you'll talk more about these in chemistry in high school, covalent, or metallic. So pause the video here if you need to finish my definition. So it's really important that we remember that there are three types. And right now it's not super important that we remember the three different ones. Okay. So our first question, name one of the three types of chemical bonds. I just told you there's three types. You pick one, put it there. I'm not gonna write them down. You pick one and write it there. Question two, chemical bonds blank hold molecules and compounds together. What do we think Ms. Phobot was trying to write there? Hmm. Honestly, I have no idea. That's just a true statement. Chemical bonds hold molecules and compounds together. Okay, just right. Check, yep, they do that. And make sure that you describe in this one, and then again up here in molecule, don't forget how my picture that I picked for you represents the word. We're gonna get this glued into the bottom of the page, and unlike every other time, we are not just done now that we've gotten it all glued in. We have to do a few extra notes about molecules. And you might want two different colored pens. You might want a highlighter. I'm not sure, so put this down as far as you can on that page. And we're gonna focus in on this area right here to write our notes. So pause the video so you can get caught up and ready for notes. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a little bit of examples about molecules. So first we're gonna talk about H2O, water. So what you're gonna write here is H2O, make sure that you put the two down lower equals water. So H2O, that's one molecule of water, of water, which is a molecule if you break up the molecule it is no longer water. It is no 
longer water. So that means if I take this apart, when I, you think of water, that's right, what comes out of the sink. Whoosh. But if I take my hydrogens apart and my oxygens apart, these both turn back into gases. So it's no longer a molecule and it's no longer water. Another fact, almost all things are made up of molecules. Most things aren't just um, a single atom or an atom by themselves or stuff like that. Even like oxygen in the air isn't just oxygen by itself. It's O2. It's a molecule of oxygen. Molecules which are made from combinations of atoms. So pause that and get those notes in there. And I want you to go through with your highlighter or a pen and underline any time the word you see the word molecule. Okay? Okay. When you're done with page nine, we can go on to page 10.